how the freak are we doing? Today we're checking out Spiderland by Slint. I'm really intrigued by the track listing. Like the track listing looks really interesting to me. It's like, it's a 40 minute album, but it's six songs long. So it's like kind of interesting. If you wanna see this video uncut, it'll be on Patreon below. Bread cum, bread crumb trail. Stepped out onto the midway. I was looking for the pirate ship. I walked toward it and passed a crowd of people at a sideshow. There was a crystal ball on the table. And behind it, a girl wearing a hat. I asked her if she'd rather go on the roller coaster instead. Creeping up into the sky. I could A bucket of corn. Set aside. Spinning round my head began to turn and then the wind. Who told you you could be? At the gate, I said goodnight to the fortune teller. Well, a lot of cool storytelling in the song. I like that a lot. I like that intro a lot. It was really cool. I like it. Like it just took its time. You know, I like how it took its time. It didn't really like rush anything. Very slow progression, but I really enjoyed it. You know, it was worth it. I wonder if this is like a meaning for like a drug trip, maybe. Like I imagine an actual like girl. Like I, I love the storytelling. Like you know, like meet, meeting a girl. Oh, okay, okay. So like, there's a line outside a tent, and then he like he goes in the tent as a girl, and then he like goes on a roller coaster with the girl instead of. Sees fortune. I like the symbolism for a drug trip, man. I don't know. That's what I'm getting out of this. That's, what, that's really what I'm getting out of this. Nosferatu man. This one kind of confused me, but I like how it sounded though. I like how the song sounded. So first off, he says, I'm a prince, I live in a castle to please my queen. To please my queen? Isn't your queen your mom? Maybe maybe it's like symbolism for like a queen is just like maybe her, his girl that he's like interested in or something. I like the way he like compares himself to a train about how he can't be stopped until you hear the old train rolling down the line with the lights disappear. Set me in a whirl. I set a fire burning and I rail on through the night. Like it's like he can't be stopped. He's like a train. I think I'm thinking too deep on this, but like, I don't know. I think I think a song meaning is kind of confusing, but I like, I like it sounds, you know. Down a He wished he was drunk. Not about something he just said. The buds on the trees in the night were still. It made him feel strong. Their backs. For being six and a half minutes long, it flew by. I wasn't really rushing it or I'm glad I wasn't rushing it, you know? I'm glad the song wasn't like rushed in a way. I felt very like, take its time, you know? I really enjoyed that. I don't get the meaning, bro. The meanings are just going over my head. I think I'm overthinking the meanings like crazy. I assume he's like at a bar. He set that aside. He felt good to be alone. He wished he was drunk. Thought about something he said. He's, he's insecure. And then he goes back inside and then he says like their backs, their conversations, their couples, romancing to natural. So I assume it's like either like a, a friend party or like a bar. He's just like paralyzed, like he can't speak or do anything. It's really cool. It's really, it's really grim, like a very grim feeling. I'm getting a very like eerie feeling from this, uh, from this album. I like how like simple that one felt. Washer. Good night, my love. Same guy or a different guy? It's dark outside. 
wash yourself in your tears and build your church. Oh man, this kind of reminds me of like, it doesn't remind me of The Cure, but it's like, I love like, I love how, I love how drawn out the instrumentals are, because I just sit there and just vibe out to it, man. <clears throat> I think it was like two minutes of instrumental, and it like flew by. Love that. Love the instrumentals of that song. That was heavy. That was a heavy song. I couldn't tell what he's talking about. I couldn't tell if he was talking about him telling, like maybe like a girl is passing away, and he's like, tell, like saying his goodbyes, or maybe he's passing away. And he's telling the girl not to worry about it or something. I don't know. The track could be interpreted to be about a breakup, but it is most likely a deep and somber suicide note. This song is heavy. Like I said, I think the instrumentals are perfect. The instrumentals are so perfect. Like, they, like perfectly complement this song, I feel like. Like, I really enjoy this. I feel like that, that, that was weird. That song was eight minutes long, but almost nine minutes long. But it, I feel like that was like the, the shortest feeling sound and or the shortest feeling song like it flew by for me. For dinner. What a weird feeling song. This song feels just weird. Weird song, man. I like how that was placed right after the suicide note song, you know? Like it was like almost like a perfect placement of the song. I got like really weird feelings of the song. Like I think that song could have had instrument that could that song could have had lyrics, like easily had lyrics. Like I was almost expecting lyrics after the first like build up. I was expecting lyrics. And then as I kept listening, I was like expecting lyrics still and still and still. Like I was still expecting lyrics and I just it was not coming. It was never coming. And that was a weird feeling to me. I was like just weird. I, I could almost imagine him on the mic, just like sitting there, like not speaking. Let the instrument all like play out. Like it's so that was a, that was like that almost creeped me out a little bit. It was, it was kinda creepy. Good morning, Captain. From outside the wooden door. And stay in the ice along the shore. The storm took them all. He managed as he tried to stand. That is that is really unique storytelling. Holy shit, man! I th I think what keeps this songs intriguing is like the storytelling style. I guess I'm the only one left. The storm took them all. Yeah, I imagine like a pirate captain is like at someone's door, and then at the end of at the end of the song, it looks like maybe it's his dad or something. I don't know, man. Like it turns into like a house, a regular house. I want the police to be notified. Like it turns into like, a regular modern time scenario like it's so weird like i i feel like the entire story just like gets shifted in my brain like i felt it shift there's, there's so much to like, dive into this album there's so much to look into for this album i'm like really i'm kind of blown away I'm kind of blown away a little bit i wasn't expecting like such a heavy album out of like six songs you know like i was expecting like sing songy kind of songs but no it's literally like i'm just talking like it's just him talking it's, it's crazy I, I honestly want more like i want more songs out of this album I, I, I wish i had like two more songs at least at least two more songs you know like somewhere sprinkled in here, you know? Might just leave it there. Honestly, might just leave it there. I needed to like really 
go back into this album and like figure out more about it. Thank you for watching me this far. Comment below what you think of this album. If you like this kind of content, make sure to like and subscribe. And as always, I'll see you in this video. Peace out.